Good evening, everybody. Michael Soothing here. Um, my older daughter, Rachel, recently took an interest in wanting a link to my ASMR videos, mostly because I have a new granddaughter. Well, my only granddaughter so far, and uh, her name is Emerald. So baby M needs a little soothing now and then, and daughter Rachel had a great idea, which is maybe she would be soothed by my ASMR videos. Then I got the idea and said, maybe I should make one or two specifically for baby M. So tonight what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a video when my kids were younger, my son Daniel and uh, later on Rachel and Chelsea, uh, I used to read them the Goodnight Moon book, you know, the famous book by Margaret Wise Brown. Do you think Wise is her middle name? Or, um, you know, I think I need to I think I need to do a um, thumbnail of this, don't you? I'll remember that later. Anyway, when we had this book decades ago when my kids were small, well, not too many decades ago, a couple of decades ago and a half, all right, three, okay, maybe a little bit, tiny bit more, um, it was a different size, it was much bigger, but I don't have that original, so I had to get this one on Amazon. Pardon me, the heater came on because it's really chilly outside. I happen to have the thermostat right here. I'll turn it down to about 25 degrees and that way it won't come on again during our video. So I thought what I would do is read the book Goodnight Moon. And maybe Rachel can play the video for Baby M. And then what I'll do is I will send the book along to Rachel so she can read it to my little granddaughter, right? Herself as she gets older. And maybe she'll remember listening to the video when she was just a few months old. Um, I always find it kind of soothing to read this book to children. It puts me in a relaxed state of mind. Uh, so, I haven't read it again in uh, probably, it's been at least, I'd say, 25 years. So I'm doing it for the first time here with you folks. It just came in the mail, all right? So if I mess up, that's why. And if I pause to give you uh, elaboration on something I remember, I hope you don't mind. All right, so let's start off. Good night, moon. By the way, it's a full moon tonight. In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of the cow jumping over the moon. There's the room, okay? And you can see the red balloon, right? And uh, the picture of the cow jumping over the moon right there. And if we turn the page, there's a blow-up shot of the cow jumping over the moon. There were three little bears sitting on chairs. We had a little bear uh, here in the area not long ago raiding a hummingbird feeder on someone's deck. I wonder if it was one of these. There were two little kittens and a pair of mittens. There's the kittens and there's the mittens, okay? Look 
looks like a cozy thing with the fireplace going on there. There was a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush and a little old lady who was whispering, hush. She doesn't look like a little old lady to me. She looks like a little old bunny rabbit. See? But I guess she was whispering, hush. That's an, for you younger people, that's an old term that adults used to use to tell us to be quiet. And um, it's not heard much today. But the mom would always turn around and go, hush, hush. But she'd do it kind of loud, right, herself. So as kids would feel like going back, hush, hush. Okay. Now when I used to read, I just remembered, when I used to read this to my son, who's um, a little bit uh, Aspie, or a lot Aspie, I'll say. That means Asperger's Syndrome, okay? For those of you, what we would do it, and when he was real small, you know, I think three years old or something, I would always go, a comb, a brush, and a bowl full of, and then he would burst out, mush, like that, see? I would always do that pause, because I love to have, we, we played that little game, right? Okay. Good night, room. Isn't this an interesting room? It's like a living room and a bedroom combined, see? There's the, the lady knitting. There's the fireplace. But then the kid's bed, you know, is over there on the other side of the room. And then there's the window with the nighttime out. What else is interesting here? Oh look, they ha I wonder if Margaret Brown is the same one who wrote The Runaway Bunny, because I think I see an inside joke here that I never noticed before when I was younger and read this to my kids. There's a, f there's a picture on the wall of The Runaway Bunny, see there? You can see the little bunny and the mom. Never noticed that before. I did notice the pictures of the cow jumping over the moon and so forth. You know, I'm breaking up the rhythm with all these explanations. I almost said exclamations. So what I'm going to do, I think is read this straight all the way through instead of driving you insane with all these interruptions. And that way, if you want to use this to soothe your kids to sleep, like you want to be lazy and let me read them the nighttime story, then you can just go to the proper place in the video and start there. So let's start all over without any of my dumb interruptions and read it all the way through. Good Night Moon by Margaret Wise Brown In a great green room there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of the cow jumping over the moon. There were three bears sitting on chairs, two little kittens, and a pair of mittens. There was a little toy house, and there was a young mouse. There was a comb, and a brush, and a bowl full of mush, and a little old lady whispering. Hush. Good night, room. Good night, moon. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light 
and red balloon. Good night, bears, and good night, chairs. Good night, kittens, and good night, mittens. Good night, clocks, and good night, socks. Good night, little house, and good night, little mouse. Good night, comb, and good night, brush. Good night, nobody, and good night, mush. And good night to the old lady, whispering, hush. Good night, stars, and good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. That's the end, which is appropriate since noises just came on in the kitchen. The noise of the refrigerator, of course, which we can never quite escape, can we, if we're anywhere close to the kitchen. So that should do it for the Good Night Moon book. Um, I always found it to be a very relaxing story. And by the end of reading it, I think sometimes I was nodding off myself to sleep. You know. But I have put my children to sleep with this story from time to time. All right, everyone. I think that will do it for this short video, this short story, bedtime story video. Uh, we'll be back again with another video where I'm going to, instead of unboxing, I'm going to do a boxing video to put this in a gift package for my daughter, Rachel. Take care, everyone.